Eh, estamos acá en rutasolucera.com, estamos con Ryan. Uh, thank you, Ryan, for this special invitation to visit. Uh, oh no, thank you. Brewery. Welcome to the brewery. Thank you. you. You said we could do like a small tour. Of the yeah, brewery? we'll go from the very beginning of how we start with our raw grains to our mill, into the brew, brew kettle and uh, brew house, and the fermentation, and finally packaging. We even look at hops if you want to see that. Okay, thank you. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So here we are in. A Space. Uh, we have lots of different stuff. This is like our, our sour barrel aging. We have our cold room storage where we keep all of our hops and some of our bulk malts, especially malts like uh, caramel malts and Munich malts, things like that. And you mentioned that the barrels are like for uh, several years. Yeah, yeah some, some of our wine barrels we've had for up to three years. The bourbon and other wine barrels only maybe a year, eight months, shorter term. And they're like special editions of the coffee. Yeah, we have a couple of them are collaboration brews where um, a brewery brought in their own house funk of Britannomyces and Lactobacillus and Pediococcus, a big blend of just funky stuff that we inoculated every barrel with. Really some light, some dark, some are you know used from bourbon, bourbon barrels that have bourbon character still with the sour, some are pretty neutral wine barrels that just have just the, the funky flavors. So here's our, our some of our hop storage, the ones we're using all the time for brewing. We get hops from Germany, some from America, we got stuff from uh, New Zealand, more New Zealand, Australia. We like try to use a lot of different styles here. Are many different types of ideas. Using hops from South America. Now I haven't heard of any of those coming out. I just heard of South African hops coming out. South American yet. Maybe in the future. Yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, our original malted barley grain silo. This is a new one we just put in a couple weeks ago. And the far one is for our waste or our spent grain. So now we don't have to pull it out by hand anymore. It gets pumped up and over the roof and into that. A farmer comes by with a big truck and empties it out every night. And how much grain does it take? Uh, this is 50,000 pounds. 50,000 pounds? Yeah, these two. That's a lot of grain. A lot of kilos. And how, uh, how do you use it for, for uh, how often do you? Every week a every truck week. comes to finish it, yeah, fill it up. It's About five what? days. Five days. So this is our mill That's and it. our grist case. <laughs> From the outdoor grain silo, as you saw, we pull the grain up the big white tube here. It goes down into our mill with two big rollers. Mills the grain, comes up and gets held in here. So we can go on the computer and type in whatever style of beer we're trying to make. If it's IPA or pale ale or stout, and we'll weigh the grain out exactly the amount we want for every recipe. So it's totally automatic. Automatic, that part. We still have to open this up put our grains, like the specialty malts, caramel malts, roasted barley, chocolate malt, that all goes in by hand, but it gets mixed in and into the big case. Yes, right? correct. And the bottom is, <coughs> is like a, a false bottom. So the liquid goes down, the grays stay on top, the liquid travels into there and then gets pumped up into, into the kettle. We boil it, we add the hops here, and then after the boil we send to that kettle, which is for the whirlpool. So down in when you live in Chile we send it clockwise. Here we do counterclockwise. Yes. <laughs>
changer, come out of our wort line here, and into the fermenter. So we have 60 barrel fermenters, behind me are 90 barrel fermenters, and everything out here is 120 barrel fermenters, and outdoors we have 240 barrel fermenters. It usually takes about five, six days of fermentation, then we dry hop, all the yeast and all the hops go to the bottom, pull that off, we'll carbonate in each tank. We don't use our bright tank so much, but that's more for blending. We'll carbonate all in one tank, and then package off in a bottling line over here. I remember you mentioned that you recommended to use again the Yes, yeah, that's, that's exactly why these, these tanks are shaped like that. Right. The yeast will slide, the yeast will slide down to the bottom, and we can reuse it over and over and over. Mm. And do you use it? Uh, how, how many times do you use it? We go about 10 to 12 generations. 10 to 12? Yeah, so that lasts about three or four months, and then we get a new strain. And that's actually what those buckets are there for. We got a brand new pitch uh, yesterday. So I see that you have like the number of the tank. Is, is yes, the uh, this is a, we have all the 21 tanks here. And the outdoor ones, we have four more. So technically 25 tanks. And this is the... This is the bottling line. Yeah, we do our 12 ounce and 22 ounce bottles on this. We can change the, the worm and the stars in there to do different size bottles. We run this every day. We do it we do between 13 and 25 pallets a day. So we'll do 13 of those a day. Lots of bottles. So it's very family friendly. People bring their dogs here and their kids here. We can have parties here. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, uh, and you have all, all, all the beers. You have like on, on tap how many? Lines? Yeah, 25 on tap. 25 yeah. on tap. And so we, we do about six or seven all, the, all year round here. And the brew pub down in the island of Coronado, that's where we do a lot of our specialty beers and kind of experimentation. We've got one small tank back here that we like to use. It's like almost like our home brew batch. We can do whatever we want, play with different ingredients, different techniques. It's pretty fun. Well, can you show us also the... Um, the barrels over there? The barrels? Yeah. Are you using them or...? Yeah. Uh, some of them are empty. Some of them are ones that have three years old beer in them. But most of them are the clean for barley wine and stout. Let's go up a beer. So most of these barrels here are bourbon barrels. We have some brandy, but most, the most easy and common ones to get here in America are bourbon. So every year we re-release a stout, a big imperial stout, or our barley wine that we age in the barrels for between six to eight months. And then once it's done aging, we pull it out and we brew a new batch and blend the young with the old to kind of get a much uh, smoother blend. So so we can use many times? No, I use these only once. Only and once. then once I've used them once for the aging of either stout or barley wine, we we'll rinse them out and it goes next door to become one of our sour barrels. Oh, That's right. reintroduced the bugs. Right. Uh, right now it's too risky for us to use these more than once in case of an infection happened right. that you yeah. couldn't pick up flavor-wise and then every bottle became infected. I can't take that risk, so I just use it once. So we are with uh, Cannes, which is really recent. You yes, very exciting. Like last week? That's, last week was our first run uh, Monday. Today's Saturday. Monday we're going to brew our package four pallets of these cans. So we have a lot of, pallet, or a lot of pallets going out to different countries. So I mean, it's only uh, the Islander We have the IPA. Islander IPA, the Orange Avenue Whit Beer, and a new pale ale called Easy Up. So perhaps one day these cans will, will go to Chile. Right? I really hope they come to Chile. <laughs> They're basically like little kegs, so right. you get really fresh beer, hopefully down there. Right. We, we also hope the same, that they, we yes. can get them in, in Chile. Well, for, thank you very much, Ryan. I hope you can say some final words. Something. Well, no, thank you so much. It's been great that, that I get to see someone travel all the way to the United States to come say hello and, and see the brewery that I talked about. Yes. That's so kind of great to see you come up here. 
Um, I hope to go back to Chile soon and hang out with some of my new friends I met down there and hopefully the new beers come down to Chile more often. You guys can try the stuff that we're playing with up here. Well, thank you very much and um, we hope to see you again soon in Chile. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>